Okay, so you need to know what is a general quadratic equation and vertex form. So from here, you can tell y equals to what? ax squared plus bx plus c. So this is considered a general quadratic equation. And then your job is to change this form into this form. Call it the vertex form. Okay, a open bracket x minus h bracket square plus k. So why is this form called vertex form? Because from this form, you can figure out what is your turning point. Meaning when here is negative h, you just take out h, okay, then if here is uh, plus k, you just take out k, okay. So from this equation form, you can figure out what is your vertex, or in other words, what is your turning point, okay. So always remember this form. Alright, let's look at the first question. So example, x squared minus 3x plus 5. So first of all, you need to know the formula for solving completing the square is this term, plus b over 2 bracket square minus b over 2 bracket square. So they also call like cancel off each other, okay. So... First of all, let's look at this question. A will be on here, 1. B will be negative 3. C will be 5. So when you want to complete the square, you need to include this formula into this equation. So from here, we know that the B is what? Minus 3. So here is minus 3. Here is minus 3. So you write something like this. x squared minus 3x. Copy exactly for the first two terms. Then you will include the formula in between your second term and your third term, so between minus 3x and plus 5. So in this case, I recap again. So your b in this case is what? Negative 3. So from here, my b will become negative 3. So the b here also will become negative 3. So it's minus 3 over 2 bracket square minus minus 3 over 2 bracket square. Next one. So you will become this one. How do you get this form? So you realize 1, 2, and 3. These three terms right, will combine to give you this bracket square. So how you get this? You can see there's an x square here. You just bring down x. Then here, whatever is inside the bracket, you will just take whatever is inside the bracket. Here is minus 3 over 2. So you just bring down minus 3 over 2, then bracket square. So if you don't believe right, you can expand this bracket square. You'll get back 1, 2, and 3, this 3 term. So that's why it's called completing the square. Because initially, you only have 2 of it. You need one more term to complete the square. Okay, so I repeat again, x squared minus 3x plus this uh, bracket square, you'll get you this form. Okay, then minus, you come here, minus this one, minus 3 over 2 bracket square plus 5, right? Okay, minus 3 over 2 bracket square is 9 over 4. Then plus 5, you just bring down. Okay, then combine, minus 9 over 4 plus 5, you get plus 11 over 4. So this one just exactly the same. Okay. Uh, we will do another example so you can understand this formula better. Let's look at second equation. What if you get 2x squared minus 5x plus 1? So your a is 2, your b is negative 5. So take note, it's not 5. Uh. Some students will take it as 5. It's negative 5. The, the, the sign have to follow the number, negative 5, the coefficient. And then your c is plus 1. Okay, so same thing. But before we can use the formula, whenever your a is not 1, you must take out the common factor first. You, I mean, you must take out the coefficient first, okay? So in this case, you will take out 2, okay? 2, open bracket, x square minus 5 over 2, x, okay? Bracket it, then plus 1. So you just need to um, take out the common factor uh, for the first two term. And then your coefficient for x square must be 1 when you perform completing the square, okay? The third term, the, the plus c, uh, you can just leave it. It, it. it won't affect, okay? It won't be affected. So next one. Okay, so this is the formula once again. So this one you have to memorize it. Okay, so in this case, what's my b? It's not minus 5. Huh? Okay, now we look at this one. Your b is what? Negative 5 over 2. Okay, your a is 1. Okay, so this plus 1 is, is okay. You just leave it as it is. Okay, so equals to 2. Okay, square bracket. x square is still here. Minus 5 over 2x is still here. Now you add this two term. Okay, the formula inside here. So just now I already mentioned, your b is what? Negative 5 over 2. So take note of the negative, very important. So negative 5 over 2, so by right, it's b over 2 bracket square minus b over 2 bracket square. It's just that your b is negative 5 over 2. Okay, then plus 1, just leave it outside. Then make sure you have the a big curly bracket. Okay, so you don't get confused because there's a common factor, 2 outside. Okay, then next, first term, second term, third term, right, you are combined. Okay, to get this. Okay, so I repeat, how do you get this one? So the first three term, right, okay, this one is x squared. You ignore the square. You just take the x. 
Okay, bring down here. Then the third term, you just bring whatever you see inside the square bracket. So minus 5 over 2 divided by 2 is what? Minus 5 over 4. So you just bring down. So take note, there's a negative here. So here's a negative also. Okay, then this term is uh, minus uh, this term bracket square, which is uh, minus 5 over 4 bracket square. You get 25 over 4. Okay, 25 over 4. Then you square it, uh, it's 25 over 16. Okay, minus 25 over 16. Then plus 1. Okay, so take note that the square is still uh, the, the two is still outside. I haven't thumbs in. Okay, so these three terms condense into this. Okay, so we continue. Uh, okay, so now the two will thumbs in. Okay, so two open bracket x minus 5 over 4 bracket square. Two times negative 25 over 16 get negative 25 over 8. Then plus 1 just bring down. And last term, uh, last step, you combine these two terms, you get minus 17 over 8. Okay. Next one, last question. Okay, complete the square for the following equation and state the coordinate of the turning point. So let's say now you have an equation y equals to 2x squared plus x minus 2. So when we complete the square, remember, you must always make sure the coefficient of your x squared must be 1. So we take out 2 as the common factor. Okay, I take out 2, I get x squared plus half x. Okay, the 2, if you times that in, you'll get plus x. Minus 2, you can just leave it. Do not need to take out the common factor from the c term, okay? Then next, your formula again, b over 2 bracket square minus b over 2 bracket square. Okay, so 2x square, bring down, half x, bring down, then you plus this one. So your b in this case is what? Half, okay, plus half. So you can just take out half, the, the plus don't have to write there. Unless it's negative, then you put it there, okay? Half over 2 bracket square minus half over 2 bracket square, minus 2. Okay, minus 2 is from here, outside the uh, curly brackets. Okay, so the same thing. Next one. So you become this, how you get this? So you have to take x square, you take the x, and then whatever is inside the square bracket, okay, just take whatever is inside the square bracket, which is uh, just 1 over 4, so it's 1 over 4, plus 1 over 4, then square, then this one, 1 over 4, square it, become 1 over 16, minus 1 over 16 here. Okay, negative 2 is still here. Okay, next step, the 2 you are thumbs in, you get 2 open bracket x plus 1 over 4 square, minus this one, 2 times negative 1 over 16, become minus 1 over 8. Minus 2. Then next step, you combine these two. You get negative 17 over 8. Okay, this one just copy exactly. 2 open bracket x plus 1 over 4 bracket square. Then next, from here, what's your turning point? Okay, so if the inside is 1 over 4, when you take out, right, you will be a negative. Okay, if it's negative h, you become h. If it's positive 1 over 4, you will be negative 1 over 4. Then outside, you will just take it whatever add it is. Okay, if outside is plus k, you just take out k. So if here is minus 17 over 8, you just take out negative 17 over 8. So this will be your vertex, or in other words, your turning point. Okay? So just a recap. Always make sure the coefficient of your um, x square must be 1 before you can perform your completing the square. You have the first two terms. You need the third term to complete the square here. Okay, the square here. So that's why it's called completing the square. Okay? Then the two you can just thumbs in and simplify it to get your turning point. So take note, turning point, if it's a minus h, right, you just take out a positive version, the opposite version. If it's negative, you take out a positive. If it's positive, you take out a negative. And then if outside is just a plus k, you just take it as it is. Don't have to flip the sign. Okay? So that's all for learning how to do your completing the square. Okay? So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Okay? Bye.